Hello, I'm Nick and welcome to Technology. In today's video I'll be showing you how to set up a RAM disk. To start off, if you don't know what a RAM disk is, it's a piece of software that takes a portion of your system's memory and uses it as a drive. The advantages of this being pretty simple, it's extremely fast. For instance, my Samsung M.2 drive is one of the fastest SSDs on the market with super fast read and writes, but a RAM disk just makes it look slower than BT's broadband speeds. And that's slow. Also, as RAM is volatile memory, when you turn off your system, everything on the RAM disk is deleted and there's no way of recovering it. So it's ideal if you have that super secret file you need to download and don't want anyone to see what it is, or if you have some software you just want to test out but don't want to install it on your main drive. It's perfect for that. Of course you can create an image to stop everything on the RAM disk from being deleted, but we'll cover that a bit later. Also a key feature with a RAM disk is with SSDs you usually have a finite number of write cycles you can perform before it dies. Whereas with RAM you don't have that limit. You can write to the RAM disk as much as you want without having to worry about it. So what I use a RAM disk for is to copy all my source video files from my NAS onto it before editing. This basically gives me a lag free editing experience and it works fantastically well. Right, let's choose some software to create the RAM disk with. So after doing some research I chose to use SoftPerfect software. Firstly, it's free, with no limitations in capacity or number of RAM disks you're allowed to create. Also, it's one of the fastest RAM disks out there, and the software is extremely intuitive and easy to use, with features such as hard disk emulation, meaning when you shut down your system, the information stored on the RAM disk will be saved onto your hard drive, and when the machine is rebooted, it will be loaded back onto it. So now I'm going to talk you through the process of setting up the RAM disk. Firstly, download and install SoftPerfect's RAM disk. I'll put all links in the description below. Once that's done, open up the software and it should look like this. Click on the green cross. This will create a disk that will be mounted automatically on boot. At the top, you need to select the size of the RAM disk you want. The way I choose this size is by seeing how much RAM my system has, so mine has 32 gigs. Then I open up some programs I usually use on a regular basis and then open up Task Manager to see how much memory I'm using. That way I can see how much memory I have free to create the RAM disk with. Then I create a RAM disk smaller than that. So this time I'm going to go with 12 gigabytes. Now select the drive letter you want to be associated with it. So I'm going with R. And then you have a couple of options available to you. So there's mount as removable, meaning it acts more like a USB drive and won't create any temp files. And you have hard disk emulation, meaning it acts more like a traditional hard drive and saves the drive's content to your system on shutdown and reloads it on startup. The disadvantages being it will slow down your boot times. If you leave them all blank, it will act like a normal drive, but with the exception all the contents being deleted on shutdown. One tip I've found since using this with Windows 10 is if you back up your system with Windows System Image Backup, you'll get error messages unless you have one of these options selected. So I select Mount as Removable, as I don't want the image to be stored. Now select the file system you're going to use, so NTFS, and if you want to create some default folders that will be loaded on the RAM disk, you do so here. I just leave it blank. Now let's go to advanced options. Here I usually leave everything alone except for a volume label. This is where you name the drive, so I'm simply going to call it RAM disk. Click OK. And OK again. Your drive has now been mounted. You can now go ahead and create as many RAM disks as you want and experience the super fast speeds. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope it helps you in some way. And if you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, leave a comment below. I have lots more video ideas coming up, so don't forget to subscribe.